Hey guys, this is Frankie Dajaha. Washer Frankie, and today we are going to be putting together a costume. We are going to be using the Cosplay by McCall's M2112. This is intermediate level. We are going to be doing the tie, which is C. And yes, I know you guys can Google this and know what it looks like, but I'm just kind of covering it so you don't know right off the bat what it looks like. And also, it's not gonna look, mine is not gonna look exactly the same. It's got different color palette and different trims going on. So yeah, just stay tuned. Keep watching until the final piece. I'm not even sure what all this is gonna look like yet. So right now we are putting together the tie. So I did not use the suggested fabric. And the reason why is because I had this fabric in my stash and it was in the same kind of color palette as what I needed. So what I did was I just put some lightweight fusible interfacing onto this so that if you can tell how this drapes and when I hold it, it has a little bit structure. So I think that it will be okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to basically, one thing I like about this fabric too is it doesn't matter what side it is, it's like either side. I know not every fabric is like that, but that's what I enjoy about this fabric. And then you basically you match up everything and then you pin it on down and get it all ready. Like this. This one I have already pinned. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew along here. And you're going to sew all the way down. Then you're going to sew back and you're gonna leave this open. And you're gonna do that for both pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so we have sewn these up. And so what we're going to do now is, we're gonna basically clip this here, where it curves so that we don't have any issues when we try to fold this inside out. So clip, clip. Don't clip past the stitching or you will have messed up your thing. Alright. And then for this part, you're just going to clip the edges like this. I'm gonna do a little clippy clip here. Once you've clipped all the things you need to clip, then basically what you're going to do is you're going to turn this inside out like so and you're going to press and press this then after you press it you're going to fold this in and fold this in and then you're going to stitch this down here stitch this down here so i'm going to go do that now all right, so I've gone ahead and stitched this down. But before we move further, I wanted to tell you that when you are putting the tie together, make sure that everything's mirrored each other so that you don't accidentally make the same, like this twice. You don't want to be making the same twice. So after we do this, you're going to fold that back and you're going to Put this here and you're going to stitch down, preferably like this. You want to kind of stitch in this little, down here, little ditch. So you're going to stitch down in this ditch, then I will, after I sew that, I will be right back. So now that I have stitched here, what you're going to do is fold this on back, fold this on back. And so now you have your tie. Now this part is where you would fold this, 
you would tuck this in and then you have your lace and you just stitch it down I don't have lace what I do have is just some muslin scraps and what I'm gonna do is turn this into a strap and then just tuck that in and sew it down so let me take care of the strap situation you also need to like measure around your neck to see how much you know fabric you're gonna need as well but I'm gonna go ahead take care of that and then we can attach the tie on all right so I made my strap and I went ahead and folded the edge in tucked the strap in and sewed it down on both sides so now what we have to do is get your snap I'm gonna be using the biggest one and then you have to attach it one here and one here so that it will snap on all right I'm gonna go ahead and attach this I'm gonna go ahead and put the one on this one. Since this is in the front, this one has to go in the back. In this where I'm placing it. This is where the instructions tell you to place it. So that is where I'm putting it. So now we have this. And then we're going to snap it. And there we go. And here is the finished Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!